we moved obviously to this off-site format uh, for obvious reasons because we wanted to have more of a pan-India sort of, you know, interaction with our partners. So we've got about 66 travel agents and tour operators, OTAs, travel professionals from India. Uh, they're from uh, various cities, of course. So Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Calcutta, Ahmedabad, and some other cities like Nagpur or even Raipur and so on and so forth. Uh, in terms of the partners and our exhibitors, basically, again, a very large delegation from the French Alps. I'm almost tempted to say as always, because they're always very strong on the Indian market. We have them sort of led by the Regional Tourism Board of OVM Ronald. And then there are various other ski stations and ski resorts, but not only that. Uh, so for example, of course, we have Megev, uh, we've got uh, Chamonix Mont Blanc, Saint Gervais, uh, you've got Val d'Isère, Val Thorens. And then you also have some others. So for example, there's Simalp, who's representing more the accommodation side. Um, then you've got also Claire de la Plume, which is a gorgeous, completely boutique property, which is in Grignon, which is more on the Auvergne side, which is also fantastic. So it's really nice to see this whole mix, you know, uh, represented through the Alps. And I think that uh, Indians have always loved the mountains. And we're really happy that the Indians have also finally discovered the French Alps. Um, and uh, and they do really find um, different sort of areas are interested. It's not just about ski actually, because of course skiing is still a very sort of I would say niche in India. And you've got some who want to sort of you know initiate themselves in lessons and things like that. Some who are already skiers as well, because they we do have those as well. Uh, but I think that you know the love for uh, from whether it's contemplative, whether it's active, the love for the mountain always remains. Um, so that's one thing. We've got a nice big delegation also from Paris, as always, uh, which is again a wonderful mix. We've got three shopping brands with us. So our partner and co-host of last night's evening, La Vallée Village, part of the Bista collection. And then the two big, you know, sort of stalwarts, I would say, in the in-city. Uh, so there's Printemps and uh, Gary Lafayette. Then we've also got accommodation options. So you've got the Hotel Napoleon, you've got the Maturin, you have the Plaza Elysee, uh, who are <clears throat> all here. And then we also have uh, Sodexo, who represents a whole slew of att attractions on his end. So it's a really nice mix again of, you know, from attractions, you've got Dis uh, Disneyland, you also have the Music Revan, um, which also has the Park Asterix. So I'm tempted to say again there, it's nice to see that there's a lovely diversity and there's a good eclectic mix of what really Paris has to offer from some of the iconic symbolic things to the more new and, you know, sort of upcoming things. We have the Ile de la Réunion, which is being represented uh, by Stéphane and which is more like the, I would say, uh, the French territories as we call them. Uh, the French Riviera, uh, so there's the Riviera Tourism Board, Nice, Cannes, tourist offices who couldn't unfortunately make it physically, but they're doing this in hybrid mode. Uh, along with the school, the Riera School as well, who's, uh, who's been, you know, who's participated for the first time. And then a little gem in that vicinity, which is the Ch Chateau Théol, which is again, uh, a new upcoming and a beautiful sort of, there's already one part which is the chateau that exists and then a new building that they're coming up with and with a private beach and again it's a it's a very, you know, unique, it's right behind me in fact as, as I speak. Uh, of course our transport partners and our key partners, so there's Air France, uh, as you heard them say uh, this year they're celebrating 90 years, so it's a big moment for the national carrier, so we're very excited as well and we work of course very closely with them, we also work very closely with Rail Europe which is a great way to get around France. And when we're talking about sustainable travel and we're talking about, you know, um, how we're making a really a concerted effort all together because they're not actually in competition anymore because Rail Europe and Air France actually work together. And Air France has actually done away with some flight uh, locally, domestic flights to give way to the rail combination. Uh, so this is just to go out to say that this is a commitment we've taken as a, as a country and all stakeholders are definitely a part of this. Um, the Council General of Calcutta was also talking to you extensively about the southwest of France. We also have Occitanie with us. Incidentally, very excited about the fact that Occitanie is going to host next year's edition of Rendezvous en France. In Toulouse, who's also here with us in this edition. Lourdes, of course, is very well known to Indians and there are a lot of people who travel to Lourdes year on year. Uh, so that's another uh, you know, big attraction and they've come back after a couple of years. And then very excited also that we've got some gems from Provence right next door. Uh, so Luberon, who is committed to this market, uh, and, uh, you know, really has a niche uh, and a very unique product and Aix-en-Provence who's uh, made a first foray actually into, into this market. So they've actually come in for the very first time. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to be a good discovery and they're going to realize that it's a, 
It's a market that has a lot of potential. Uh, the destination is beautiful. Um, so yeah, I think I've summed up more or less who our partners are on this edition.